We've created a perfect storm of crises and we've got to grow up. It's as simple as that. It's time for humans to reach the mature cooperative phase. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Satouris. I'm an evolution biologist and a futurist, a deep pastist in order to become a better futurist. I've always wanted to know who are we humans? Where did we come from? Where are we headed? So from early on, I decided to study science because that was the authority on such things. I'm very interested in the ancient bacteria that had Earth to themselves for half of evolution, two billion years. The planet was occupied only by bacteria. A good place to study cells and societies is to look at our own bodies, which are made of up to a hundred trillion cells, each of which is as complex as a large human city. And it's a marvelous society, your body, because uh, no organ in it is trying to get another organ to be like it. Your liver isn't trying to get your heart to be another liver. We have a marvelous example in our own bodies of a highly evolved, decentralized, cooperative economy which communes as well as communicating. Uh, it uses direct transmission of information and it is completely transparent. The biggest discovery I ever made in evolution was discover, to discover what I call the maturation cycle that permeates all of, of evolution that any species has to go through a juvenile or youthful phase in which it has to acquire as much territory and resources as it can and multiply as fast as it can and elbow others out of the way and, and establish itself uh, in its place on the planet. And eventually it gets too energy expensive to elbow the others out. The competition becomes very, very expensive. And there comes a point at which there seems to be a maturation uh, process in which the species discovers the advantages of cooperation. That cooperation is, is much less energy consumptive so that you have lots more energy to use in being creative in, in friendly ways with others. When they finally reach the mature phase, having solved both global hunger and global pollution, they start building cooperatives with a division of labor and every different kind of bacterium um, giving some of its DNA into a central library we call the nucleus, which then binds them to living forever in that cell. And so these cooperatives are actually new on the planet and have to go through their own maturation. And it takes another billion years, after two billion years to reach the stage of those cooperatives, another billion years they're going through their youthful phase, same kind of behavior, until they reach maturation and form multi-celled creatures. Those to me are the two biggest steps that ever happened in evolution. The formation of the nucleated cell and the formation of the multi-celled creatures from them. We, of course, are multi-celled creatures. We are now, as humans, going through our own juvenile phase into maturation. What's uh, another interesting discover for, discovery for me, because I spent a lot of time working with indigenous people in, and looking into the history of humanity, is that tribal peoples actually formed cities long ago maybe on the order of ten to 6,000 years ago, they started forming cities and we're only now really excavating those and finding that they don't have armaments buried there and that there were no defensive walls, that these were peaceful organizations. And I believe they were much like the nucleated cell that the ancient bacteria built. If you look from an airplane at cities by night or day, they look exactly like cells on a substrate. They're a much more natural formation than a nation, which is very arbitrarily drawn lines. So these early cities were cooperatives built by tribal peoples, and we're digging them up now in the Orkneys, in Northern England, in the Amazon, in the Middle East, in Africa. They're showing up everywhere. And they then, if you think of that nucleated cell having to go now through its youthful phase, 
the cities had to do the same thing and they went into empire building mode which is juvenile phase so uh, first they were ruled by emperors then we went into national empires now we're in corporate empires it's all the same process um, and so we're now at the second time when this empire building phase has become too energy expensive. We've reached planetary limits in using up resources in all kinds of things, as we well know. We've created a perfect storm of crises and we've got to grow up. It's as simple as that. It's time for humans to reach the mature cooperative phase. So we need not the hero's journey myth that brought us to where we are now, the adventure story, but a story of cooperation, a story of the ecstasy of forming real community by recognizing our oneness, by focusing on love rather than fear, by making earth a sacred place again where we live from its bounty but gently where we get rid of junk where we make things only that are useful and beautiful where we live in elegant simplicity find something that makes your heart sing that you want to do are you a poet? Are you a gardener? Are you a technician? Um, whatever you want to do, find a way to do that that fits into a harmonious, loving, cooperative world.